Good day, folks. I had replaced this uh, light switch. It had uh, give out, failed. And I don't know if you ever wondered what was inside of it or why it failed. I want to have a little look. Just a regular light switch, like you'd see most anywhere, on and off, and so on. But it uh, it stopped working, and the light wouldn't come on. So after some investigation, found out voltage was voltage was getting in here, but wasn't getting out again. So there's not much to these switches. There's four tabs that kind of hold it on, hold it all together there, the metal part to the rest of the body of the switch, and uh, all that can be removed. You buckle back those tabs, and this is the rocker arm, of course, that activates the switch. And that sits in a little cradle, like so. You see a little notch here. Well, that notch activates this little contact. And then where this contact goes up against the other contact, two contacts make contact, of course, and permit the flow of current to turn your light on. This little piece here, you can see, is supposed to be a contact right in here. And it's missing gone dropped out burned a little bit maybe you can see right here supposed to be a contact here but if you look at where it supposed to make contact right here well you can see that the two contacts are actually fused together one uh, the one came out of the rocker piece and fused onto the stationary contact <laughs> So uh, that's why it wouldn't make a contact at all. Two contacts were frozen, and one, of course, was actually separated from the rocker piece. Anyway, just curiosity. Thought you might want to see what's inside of one of these switches. Not a whole lot to it. A couple of brass contacts you screw your wire onto, and that little rocker piece inside. It just goes back and feet and forth when you rock the switch back and forth. Investigation uh, complete. <laughs> switch failure due to contact separation. Thanks for watching guys. Bye bye.